December 1st, welcome to this first video of the Advent Calendar series. The next 24 days will be all about UI Kit. We're going to start with the UI button today and we're going to cover a whole bunch of interesting UI Kit components from labels to segues to view controllers and all that stuff. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of these videos. And I'd like to say, let's get right into it and start a new Xcode project. So here's my Xcode welcome screen and I'm pressing Command Shift N on the keyboard to create a new project. Let's choose a single view application right here and let's select next and let's maybe call it button project and we're selecting swift as our language and we're targeting the iphone so hit next and create that on the desktop i'm uh, increasing the size of my window here a little and then we're heading straight to the storyboard and adding a button isn't really difficult so we're just typing in button in the object library dragging our button to our view controller and i'm simply entering option one here. And of course you have a lot of options here to configure your buttons, but we're going to focus on some more interesting stuff around buttons. So first of all, let's copy our button here and paste it two times. And I'm going to uh, rename that to option two and option three maybe. And um, then we're going to create an action for our button so that something happens when we press on that specific button. So to do that, I brought up the assistant editor and I'm pressing control on the keyboard now and make a connection between that button in interface builder and code. So I'm um, releasing my mouse in the code view and selecting an action as a connection. And then I maybe call that trigger option and hit return and there is my IB action that is connected with my first option button and then I can do something like print hello button and then if we run that in the simulator it would say hello button in the console but that's not so interesting isn't it uh, it's more, much more interesting to see what we can do if actually all those three buttons should do something very similar um, and only perform a slightly different task, we could use the same function for that. That would be great. But how can we actually connect the buttons with that function? In earlier days, it was possible to just press control on the keyboard again and then drag to that IB action again. That doesn't work any longer. And the reversed way, so from uh, clicking here and connect it back to Interface Builder, doesn't work either. I don't know if Apple removed that feature um, or if it's just a bug that it doesn't work anymore. But what we can definitely do is right click on our view controller in our view controller scene. And with that, we get all of the view controller connections that are um, added to this specific view controller. And then here down at the bottom, we see the received actions and there's our trigger options function and it is connected to option one. And we can add another connection by just pressing or clicking on that little icon here and drag it to option two. And then we can select the event that should trigger that function. And we're going to select touch up inside and we're going to, to do the same thing with option three. So again, we select touch up inside. And if we now run this in the simulator, so let's quickly do that. Here's the simulator. Let's see what happens. And now if I press on option one, we get our console output. If I press option two, we get our console output. And if I press uh, option three, we also get our console output. So this is already very cool. We can add all of those three buttons to the same function or the same IB action. So in some situations though, you should be able to distinguish between those buttons. So you could either use your button and see what it title says actually and how do we get to work with our button here so we can create a button object right here and there is a sender argument in our list here that we can simply cast as ui button and with that we have access to all of the buttons properties for example title label Dot text and then we, we could check if button dot title label dot text is equal to option option one option one then we want to perform a specific task 
And this is the one way you could do that. And let's just try that. Um, we say print option one pressed. But what we can also do is we can distinguish between those buttons by giving them tags. And you can add tags or change tags by clicking on a specific object in Interface Builder and in the Attributes Inspector, if you scroll down a little or not, um, here it is, under the View section, you will find the tag property. So all uh, by stand by default, every object has a tag of zero. So we can change that for our option two button, for example, to one and for our option three button to two. And now we could also check else if button dot tag equals two, we could print option three pressed. And let's run this in the simulator and see if this has the result that we're expecting. So here's our button project. We press option two and nothing happens. We press option one and it says option one pressed and we press option three and it indeed says option three pressed. So this is one interesting thing that you can do with multiple buttons. But something else and something also very cool is to create outlet col uh, collections. And this does not only work with buttons, it also works with labels and pretty much every UI kit component. So what I can do is pressing control on the keyboard again and dragging it to my code view here. And if you create an outlet to access a um, object's properties or object's properties in code later, then you can only access this one button's properties, for example. But you can also choose an outlet collection as a connection type. And I'm going to name that option buttons. And now you will uh, notice that this is no longer just a UI button, but an array of UI buttons. So I can press control now and for outlet collections, um, this trick still works. So we can press control on a keyboard and click drag to this outlet collection and simply release our mouse here. And now all of those three buttons are actually co uh, connected to this outlet collection. And now in view to load, for example, I could iterate through that array and I could say for button in option buttons. And this is useful if you want to change all of the attributes. For example, I could do the following. I could use the button call the set title color function, for example, and set all buttons to the color red for the control state normal, for example. And if I run this now in the simulator again, all of our buttons should be red when we launch our project. And indeed they are. So I hope you learned something useful for your day-to-day -day work with UI buttons in this video. And I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow in the next Advent Calendar video about UI Kit.